Hey guys, it's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Today I am doing something called a Grab 5 from Adele from Inky Quill. So here I have, wow, I went really fast. I have those Project Life cards, those Amy Tan stickers, two different types of alphas, and then these, those like pearl enamel dot, dots. So basically what the point of this is, is that you have to pick out five different products from your stash or, or it can be new, I guess, but, um, and then use those that you have to use those five things. You can use whatever else you want to, but you have to use those five. So whether the intentions are to, um, use them up because you have a lot, or you've been having trouble finding uses for it, or anything like that, you just have a lot of it, then it's kind of a good way to uh, make sure that you use it. All right, so what I have here is a six by 12 paper and I scored it at four and eight inches to kind of make this little book. Uh, it wasn't a dou double-sided paper, so I had to, um, I had to tape two pa uh, papers together. And now I'm just kind of deciding, I was deciding which way it should all fold and I kind of cut the sides in a little bit because I thought I was going to fold it in like a book, but then I didn't end up doing that. So it's a little short on each end, but that, that doesn't bother me. So I'm using these Project Life cards. I cut out uh, hearts from them and that thing that says at this very moment. And I cut them out, so I didn't really use it like uh, Project Life cards are supposed to be used, but that doesn't really bother me. It's just kind of using your products in a unique way. So that's... Um, yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm using these clear stickers from Amy Tangerine's collection from the fall. I forget what it's called. Um, and I am, uh, yeah, using those for the front and then these um, little stickers. So I use a lot of my Grab 5 stuff on the front. Let me just see what those, uh, what those stickers, what collection those stickers are from. One sec. Okay, never mind. It doesn't say on the uh, paper pad. I thought it would, but I think it's like, oh, happy life or something like that. Uh, anyway, so I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to make an envelope. So that's what I'm just doing now. And originally I thought it would be small enough to fit in there, but it was just too big. So I thought I would use it as a flap. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to take some washi tape and adhere the envelope to that. Perfect. And on the other side to secure it, this washi tape I got from an Etsy shop. I can't quite remember which one. Um, my husband gave it to me as a gift. I think it was an Etsy shop. So anyway, I just took some paper and made a little pocket on the left side. Sorry, that part was a little bit cut out. And then I also had half of a doily in my stash. So I used that. And now I'm going to use some more of the Project Life cards. All right, cool. So now I have, um, so in this um, sticker sheet with all the alphas, I believe it's from Maggie Holmes Gather Collection, I think. I had a lot of extras of those and then um, those uh, letters and a lot of those letters actually fell off and I don't really know where they are. So I don't really have a lot of vowels left, but I have a lot of the other letters and I have numbers. So I just lined up the numbers along the bottom and I thought that looked just fine. And then I fussy cut some of those hearts from that sheet that you can see in the bottom right corner. This side, I didn't really know what to, uh, what to put on it, but I think I just, I made it my front cover in the end. It was really difficult with this, um, with those alphas being on my grab five because they're red and then there were green ones too if I wanted to swap it out. But they were red and green and the colors that I were doing were more like pink and blue. So they kind of, the colors kind of clashed a bit. But I think I brought it together well by using um, the Amy Tangerine clear stickers because those had red in it and they had uh, blue and, and all different colors that coordinated well. So I just kind of simply lined those up along the... Um, along the page and uh, yeah. So the thing I'm not a huge fan about is that there's not much dimension to this page, but I think it's kind of a nice like front cover or whatever. Um, yeah. So moving along to the other flaps. Oh no, I actually, I think I'm gonna take some Project Life cards and I'm gonna put them in the pocket. And um, yep, there we go. 
as a gift for my pen pal and then put that paper clip there to secure it all. And next I'm going to, I think, yep, I'm going to add some phrase stickers. These are Tim Holtz. And I just, I just felt like there needed to be more to that page. So I wasn't shy and I added a lot of those. That heart on the envelope, I also fussy cut from that uh, Project Life card. So now I'm going to use some old uh, chipboard to Actually, I did have that up for a second. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Maybe not. So this is from, oh, I just got it from a pen pal. Shoot. I don't remember who. Was it Was it Becky I got that stuff from? Yeah, I think Becky gave me that. So I'm using some old chipboard to kind of raise it up and uh, give it some height. And she gave me this really cool frame and then that um, that card that says there's beauty in, boring, in the boring. And I layered them and I really, really like the way that looks. So I was happy with that. And then I made two little envelopes using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. And I'm just going to line those up right on top of each other. And I'm going to put some of my flare buttons that Becky makes. I'm going to put them right onto those envelopes. If I wanted them to stay forever, I would probably use hot glue but I like when I can pass things on and other people can use them. So I just used my Tim Holtz adhesive and uh, yeah, and did that. So uh, I'm just gonna put a few more clear stickers on and some of these pearl dots, which is perfect because I'm using a lot of the stuff that, was, that I am supposed to be using and I do end up using everything, which is awesome and I use a lot of it. So that's really, really great that I was able to get through that stuff. Now I'm going to use black and white twine and I'm not too good at making nice bows. So I try. <laughs> kind of failed. One end was too, too long compared to the other end and wasn't evening out. Then it was getting stuck on things. I was, but um, then I grabbed this pencil, which matched pretty nice. And I put some uh, Project Life cards in there. And uh, just so it's like, I don't know, when you open it, it's kind of a fun little goodie box. And then a paper, uh, not a paper clip clothespin, tie it up and good to go. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And here are some close up shots. Sorry, it was a little bit difficult to do this um, with holding it up in the air, but I hope it turned out okay. So, oops, that Y is a little funky. There we go. I might have to adhere that better because those don't stay on too well. Those are actually from Target at Christmas time. That's why I have red and green. All right, so you open it up like that, and eventually I'll put goodies inside the envelopes or letters or whatever um, once I decide who it's going to. And then that was the original front cover, but that didn't, that changed, and... Here's the middle part. And I don't know if you saw, but I did add a Project Life card on the other side of this envelope. So I think it turned out really cute. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk soon. Bye.